Daddy Full here. Today I'm going to be talking about the habits that I formed using the Google Pixel 2 XL. I noticed that I started forming these habits while I was using the phone for the past two and a half weeks. So let's get down to it. These are the five habits that I developed using the Pixel 2 XL. Using Google Assistant more. One of the big pushes from Google was for people to use Google Assistant a lot more. And this shows in this phone, it really does. It is very intuitive. It's very much like how I use Google Home at home. Some basic things are you know, checking the weather, what's the weather for today, do I need a jacket for the kids, follow any news sites, or any other random information that is part of your daily routine. Google Assistant has been very helpful with delivering those you know, in a concise, compact, very convenient way. Our phones nowadays are devices that deliver information on the go. So with Google Assistant, it just makes it easier for us to receive those information. Information on the go, if I want to check on something without having to write it down or remember and go back home and do my research, I can do it on the fly. That was the biggest thing for me with smartphones when they first came out. And like I said, Google Assistant makes it a lot easier because you don't have to type these things. Sometimes I play games with Google Assistant. So, you know, trivia games, mundane things like, you know, roll the dice or that crystal ball thing. So the next habit that I'm gonna talk about coincides with using Google Assistant, and that is the Active Edge. So Active Edge, when it was first announced, people thought that it was going to be gimmicky. There's no real practical use for it. And I disagree. I find a few practical uses for it. Number one is the convenience, obviously. You don't have to shout, hey Google, or okay Google. So I guess you can say that's one of the practical uses for it. I don't have to say the hot word to activate my Google Assistant. And in turn, it doesn't activate everyone else's Google Assistant. The other benefit of Active Edge is that when you're out in public, you're not that obnoxious guy that just talks to his phone and says, okay Google. The next habit is taking advantage of the reminders and calendar. So all of this still centers around Google Assistant. I have two kids, I run errands a lot, I, I'm on the car, I'm on the go. If I need to buy something from the groceries, there's a ton of stuff that I do on a daily basis. I am not a calendar guy, I hate calendars. But the fact is, I am starting to forget a lot of things. And with how Google Assistant is implemented into the phone with the calendars and the reminders, it makes it so much easier for me to take advantage of these features. I could just say, you know, remind me to send an email to so-and-so tomorrow at 8 a.m. And that's it. You know, those little things. And what's nice is that you can set as many reminders as you want. Next up is I've been using the camera a whole lot more. Now, with my first video, I already said that I love mobile photography. And it's ridiculous that I take pictures with my phone. There's a difference when you see someone taking a picture with a DSLR, you're kind of thinking, oh, he's a photographer. And then there's another thing when you see people taking pictures using their phones, really trying to compose a shot using your smartphone. I've had weird looks in the past and it is what it is. The shortcut of the camera is awesome because it's snappy and it makes me feel like I'm not losing that moment, whatever it is that I wanted to capture. Now tied in with the camera is the quality itself and that makes me want to take more pictures and more pictures and more pictures and more pictures. With the Pixel Lite, Google has offered you to upload uncompressed, you know, original file sized photos up into their cloud. If you love taking pictures with your phone, you know how valuable that is. So to go back, great quick camera, great quality, and great quantity. It makes me want to take pictures every single time. The next one is watching YouTube videos. It really does make me want to watch YouTube videos. And hear me out. Number one is the screen size. It's great for content consumption. On top of that, the front facing uh, speakers are great. And the other thing that I noticed is that when I watch YouTube videos, they are pretty darn quick in terms of loading. It's amazing. So those are the habits that I developed using the Pixel 2 XL over the past couple of weeks. Let me know in the comments if you guys have formed any other habits or if you use any more features more often now than before. And let's compare notes. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Talk to you soon.